What's up, y'all? The stars have blown up in the background, but Cardboard Moses still stands. Welcome, everybody. It is time to do 2718 Panini NBA Hoops Basketball. 20 bucks, full case break number one, eBay style. This product just came out today. Is that how fire? Let's get to it. I said, let's get to it. Chris Fitz, are you going to actually uh, watch the Lakers game today? Grizz Miz, I kind of like where the story's going. Yeah, I know Derek Jeter's involved now, and I kind of want to trust in the Jeter man. You know, since, you know, the man does know his baseball. But damn, dude. Stanton can be like that franchise guy, you know what I mean? We, You know, he started his career with Miami. He could end his career with Miami. He could be our first, like, true Hall of Famer. But, uh... We'll see, man. We'll see. Or oh, Grizzmiz, you won't be what? What is it like a ten thirty game or something? I'll probably, uh, you know, give it a look, see, because you know I stream late as hell. All right. So you know, as always, good luck, everybody. Oh, Chris, Chris Fitz, Grizz Miz, kind of sounds the same. So I, I apologize. Uh, I meant no disrespect to you. Box four on the left to start? What you think this is, dog? I already know that, Chris Fitz. Trust me, I'm aware of the situation. Uh, however, you know, if you want to give me, like, some kind of leeway, Consider, considering the time, you know, considering the fact that it's just so close, leave, you know, whatever. I'm just going to shut up now. Your homeboy starts crying? The same dude they got that sucked? I don't know if anyone's following Chris Miss's story. No, it's a full case here. Uh, Chris... So the guy that hit him is crying. All right. So I'm just going to say homeboy's a little bitch. So we're doing a full case of this thing, Chris Fitz. It's, uh, it's going to take some time. Uh, Blair, as far as the Bowman Tech, it hasn't filled. And uh, worse yet, we only received one case of it. Uh, we should be getting more soon. Unfortunately, I don't know when we are going to get it. CBJ took it down because he's adjusting the prices of Bowman Tech. And also because he knew this was going to happen. Uh, the one case that we do have it's is going to get broken tonight uh, for eBay because that's already been listed. Uh, so whenever we get the other case uh, for the store, we will list it uh, back up again. And we'll get that thing breaking uh, ASAP. Oh, so Chris Miz, basically you're a, you're a snitch. B Palin got your card. I'm glad you did. Awesome. What up, small town? How you doing? Now remember, guys, while I open this stuff up, you guys... Uh, you guys should uh, head on over to RipCityCards.com. If you haven't bought a, you know anything on our website just yet, then uh, hey, now's a good time to do so. Register for an account first and save $15 on your first purchase, kids. I am offering a giveaway. Once, uh, once I reach a certain quota, I will give away $200 in break credit. Uh, if you're wondering what that quota is, once I sell about 43 more spots on the website, I will give away $200. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, damn, Uncle Jesse, that's a lot. It's really not nephew and niece. It's pretty, uh, 
it's pretty easy to do. All we got to do is fill two PYTs and, you know, I'm going to give away $200. It's pretty simple. Well, small town, you know, if you want to buy something, that, that would definitely make me happy. So, Grizz Miz, the moral of the story is don't go out with you because you're going to tell the police everything you saw. Got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. CBJ is going to let you keep the team. Whatever team you bought is yours. You know, don't worry about it. Even if, you know, that team is supposed to get adjusted price-wise, you're good, Blair. You're good. You, you don't have to worry about that. The OG Anunobi? The, uh, isn't that the kid from uh, Toronto, I think? Isn't that the kid from Indiana? Oh, dude, that guy is a sick player, dude. I'm surprised he went that, uh, you know, that low in the draft. It's a shame because he, he had a hell of a career in Indiana. You know, I do follow b uh, basketball a lot more closely than I do, you know, all others, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, for sure, small town. The kid's a stud. Great two-way player. You know, coming out of college... He's going to have a sick career. Uh, I have, I'm not sure what he's done so far this season, I'll be honest. Um, but I did watch him in Indiana. Great, great career out there. Should should see uh, what's going on with that. Uh, Lucas, as far as your code being expired, it's because you took too long. Nah, seriously. Uh, what I want you to do then, Lucas, is do this, man. I want you to email me, ripcitycards at gmail.com. And if I haven't already given you a gift code, I will type up another one and I'll make sure I'll email it to you. All right, uh, Lucas G. That's ripcitycards at gmail.com. Shoot me that email. And like I said, if I haven't already given you a code, I will hook you up. All right, let's start this break, guys. Good luck to you. I will go a little slow on the first box because, you know, I kind of really just want to see the cards. Card looking kind of cool. Sounds good, Lucas G. Got a refractor here for Bradley Beal to one ninety nine. That goes to the Wizards. Kobe Bryant's career tribute insert. That's a cool card. Here's an Embiid refractor for the Sixers. That's a cool card. Picture perfect inserts. The uh, the backstage. Which one? Oh, the backstage pass. Yeah, I did set it aside. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sleeve that up now. You know, I do have a thing for those uh, those short prints. Like, they should really just be... Put the number on them. Damn, this thing is numbered to 2017. That's kind of crazy. This uh, roll to the finals, Louis Williams... I can already see why this is going to take me a long time. There's a lot of, it's going to be a lot of numbered stuff in this. I can see already. To 199, Malik Monk for the Hornets. That's another good rookie out there in Charlotte. This draft class is actually pretty loaded. Pretty loaded draft class. For the Raptors, uh, Lorenzo Brown with the autograph. That's a cool looking guard. Come on. So, so far, I know it's, a, it's only been about a week 
since the NBA season started, but who do you guys have for Rookie of the Year? From a basketball peeps. Yeah, Kestis, uh, it, it is going to take a long time. I'm telling you that right now. Jonathan Isaac of the Magic. He forgot to wear his jersey his first NBA game. That's pretty cool. Dude, Simmons is killing it. I really think he might be the Rookie of the Year for sure. Although Lonzo's not doing too bad. An NBA Hoops Refractor here for Giannis. This dude might be the uh, MVP for this year so far anyway. All right, now that I've gotten a look of it, I'm going to attempt to speed things up a little bit. The NBA Hoops, we got next insert for Josh Jackson and the Suns. How about the Suns, bro? I don't want to be here. <laughs> Ah, uh, what a way to get out of a city. Just do like Eric Bledsoe did and say you don't want to be here with no context. Robert Covington with the NBA Hoops picture perfect. That's not numbered or anything. All right, to the side you go. Dennis Smith Jr., another sick baller out there. Um, you know, I'll be honest, as far as Lonzo Ball, I'm still kind of iffy on him. Like, I, I, I don't know what to think about him, honestly. Mike Conley for the Grizzlies with the insert, courtside insert. You know, I feel like Lonzo Ball, I don't know, dude. Like, he's a good player, but there's a lot of things about him that I don't like. Damian Lillard of the Trailblazers with the team leader insert. Yeah, I feel that's that's how I feel about Lonzo. I feel like one game he'll be he'll be good, the next he's just gonna you know drag ass. You know, I I, I would like some consistency, but hey, he he is a rookie, so that is uh bound to happen. So this James Harden road to the finals insert number to nine nine nine. Ben Simmons. That's gonna be uh that'll probably go for some guapage. Even the base set of Ben Simmons. I think we'll go for some money, considering he only signs for upper deck. Uh, if I'm, if my sources are not mistaken. Christoph Porzingis, the unicorn there for the Knicks with the insert. The my only thing with Ben Simmons, honestly, his only knock is he can't really shoot the ball. Shaq. That's a cool card there. Legends of the Ball. What is this? A 2K18. Refractor for Shaq. Back in his heat days. And I will always like that. What up, Freak of Nature? Yeah, if Ben Simmons can stay healthy. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm going to go beyond 30 games. I hope he can stay healthy the whole season. Uh, honestly. So they have NBA 2K cards in this. That's kind of cool. I like J. I like uh. I like Jalen Brown and and Tatum. Tatum out there for for the Celtics. Uh, Jalen Brown, I think, is ready to make that move to just to become a star. Uh, but Tatum is gonna take some time. Um, I do have someone knocking on the door. I'm not gonna answer that right now. Let me get through this, and then I'm going to go answer the door. Because I do have somebody knocking. Uh, the NBA Hoops de uh, for the Mavericks, Dennis Smith Jr. It, it might be the feds. I don't know. But uh, let me go answer that door. See what's going on there. Another Shaq insert for the Heat. All right, let me go answer the door. I'll be right back. Small town, I think I might be with you on that. So they knocked and then they left. 
that's uh okay all right so we're looking at two autos per box now that I'm seeing this thing it, it might have been immigration I'm not sure but they're they're gone now I like Tatum's game in college. Uh, I haven't seen the Celtics play much, I'll be honest. Ever since the Gordon Hayward injury, I kind of just been like, whoa. Let me not watch the Celtics. You know, next time I watch, maybe some other horrific thing is going to happen. I mean, it's a great NBA draft class that we've had this year. Uh, but people need to, you know, really need to bog down their expectations I mean these kids are rookies bro these kids are 19 20 years old they can't even buy beer yet so to think that they're gonna come into an NBA team and just transform them into a playoff or even a championship contending team it's kind of ridiculous Fultz right now honestly sucks but he is dealing with an injury. He's dealing with a shoulder injury. So, I mean, I'm not one to make excuses. But it is what it is. He is injured. So you gotta you kind of got to take that. Right. For everyone that expects all rookies to be like LeBron, I mean, like, come on, man. That's once a generation type player. You know, you got to give Fultz the injury excuse, man. You know, the, the kid is hurt. The kid's hurt. And they're young, you know, they still got to learn how to play with each other, uh, giggity. But they'll definitely get there. So, Blake Griffin, roll to the finals. Insert to 2017. Well, listen, Mello had already won a national championship in Syracuse. I think he played a couple seasons in, in college. So when he came in the league, you know, he not only was he like mentally prepared, but his body, you know, was that of almost a, an adult man. So he was ready to take the contact and stuff like that. LeBron is just a freak of nature. Buddy healed courtside insert for the Kings. Oh, he only played one season in college. There you go. Uh, I'll be on until there are no more breaks to be done sports card freak if breaks are filling you know i'll be here you know i'll be here otherwise i will help sort because there's a a bunch of stuff to sort monte morris for the nuggets with the autograph uh no thank you sports card freak Dude, stop telling me how to live my life. I don't go to your job and I don't tell you what to do, do I? Exactly. Team leader insert for KD. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop sleeving those and I'm only going to sleeve like numbered cards and stuff. A Markel Fultz auto though. Damn. That is nice. The number one pick. And I already got his auto. That is nice. That is nice. Okay, NBA Hoops. The first overall pick in the NBA draft, Markel Fultz. That is nice. All right, so these that I should be sleeving, I'm just going to put to the side because this, this break is just going to take forever. I will be uh, sleeving knees to 189. Isaiah Thomas on the Cavs now. Sounds good, small town. So all this paper base. Now I can see why Jason was like, oh, paper base is not going to ship. The Russell Westbrook wrote to the final insert to 2017. 
you got a small town. It's lurking in one of those 18 boxes there. Oh, Tatum's going to get better for sure. Uh, the Celtics are kind of a little bit of a mess right now. With I, I feel like with that Gordon Hayward injury, kind of, kind of, you know, threw things out of whack out there in Boston. And I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of Kyrie Irving. And it's not because of the way he left Cleveland. I could care less. Kyrie Irving is just not a winner, honestly. Kyrie Irving was with the Cavaliers for all those years before LeBron got there. Never got him into the playoffs once. So I feel like Kyrie is super overrated. He's a great one-on-one -on -one player. Uh, I just, I honestly, I wouldn't want him on my team. Kyrie really said that, Grizzmiz? When they asked him how he felt about LeBron? I need to see that clip. I need to see that clip. I need you to go on YouTube and find that clip and show it to your Uncle Jesse because I need to see that. Alright, let's continue this. Marathon of cards. There's a Giannis refractor there. That'll get sleeved at the end. You know, I'll have my sword to take care of that stuff. A Pog of Soul to 189. I will uh, sleeve the numbered cards as soon as I see them. Uh, all the other refractors and rookies and stuff like that. That'll get done by our sorters because, you know, I'm not going to take two hours for this break. That's, that's kind of what it's looking like. To 2017, Mike Conley. You know, I'm not even going to sleeve those anymore, actually. Uh, I know there's a lot of those. They are numbered pretty high. But I'll just set them aside for the sorter. If Kyrie went to the Heat, I wouldn't be mad. But I do like Goran Dragic more than I like Kyrie. You know, I feel like Kyrie, honestly, is, is overrated. He's a great player, don't get me wrong, but he's not a winner. And that's what I want on my team. I want people that, that are that are winners, people that are down to do the dirty things. Like look at like Dion Waiters. He was a good player before he got to the Heat. Got to the Heat. We developed him a little bit more. And now he's getting ready to make the jump to star. Potentially superstar. For the Pacers, Miles Turner. That's a nice card there to 99. It's a cool looking card. Rick, are you a Celtics fan? Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma. Sick, sick player. I think he played in Utah. Yeah, he played in Utah. Great player right there. Nobody saw him coming. Clyde Drexler there for the Trailblazers. Refracting. That's a cool card for Kobe. And they got these NBA 2K cards in there too. I don't know what that's about. Dude, I've only done two boxes. And I'm already... I'm already I've already filled a 400 count. Yeah, this is not going to work. I'm going to have to put these things in uh, monster boxes. Because, man, there are way too many cards in this. The Patriots never look good. Fuck the Patriots. Don't talk about the Patriots no more. Fucking hate the Patriots. 
Right, this is not gonna work really. I'm just gonna set that there on the floor. I'll tell you what thing though, Patriots are not gonna win a Super Bowl this year. Uh the other auto Jesse God it feels weird to say my name out loud. Monte, Monte Morris. These are the autographs we have so far. Lorenzo Brown, Raptors, Jonathan Isaac, Magic, Monte Morris, Nuggets, and Markel Fold Sixers. Now, you guys want to learn something cool? For those of you guys watching on YouTube, you can go back in time on the uh, on the live stream up to four hours. So if you would like to, you know, watch the show from the beginning, you can scroll through the the uh, the video there. Who said you don't learn something new every day? I just I just learned you a little something something. This is gonna take forever to break. I'm already seeing it. So I'm gonna try to speed up the process a little bit. There's just so many base cards. Oh my god. Well, that is true, Rick. Uh, my thing is, I just, I hate the Patriots, uh, and I hate Tom Brady, so I will always talk negatively about Tom Brady and the Patriots, you know, because they're, they're just too good, and uh, my Dolphins have no chance while, uh, while Brady is out there for New England. You know, I really hope after Tom Brady is done playing for the Patriots, I hope Bill Belichick sticks around. And I hope their next quarterback is just the complete opposite of Tom Brady. And I really hope the New England franchise just goes into a, a downward spiral. And they just implode. And Robert Kraft has to sell his team. And he's like, oh my god, I don't know what happened. Alright, let's see what we got here. Yeah, Garoppolo could look, you know, as good as he wants to, but he's still not Tom Brady. What is this? It's Anthony Davis with a courtside insert. Colin Kaepernick would be hilarious to play for New England. Oh, dude, I, that's what I'm saying. That's what I, dude, I remember the New England Patriots being like the, the East Coast, you know, Browns. Like, they were a joke. Like, they were seriously terrible. And then here comes Tom Brady, you know, seventh round pick. Oh, yeah, you, we're a franchise. We're, we're a dynasty now. Ricky Rubio to 25 for the Jazz. That's kind of cool card. And now they just, they can't lose now. Before, they were a laughing stock, and now they're a powerhouse. Like, why? Why the Patriots? Why not the Dolphins? That's, that's that's just where I'm at. As you can tell, I am a Dolphin fan. I wouldn't say the Patriots are the Spurs, you know, because the Spurs don't cheat. So there's that. John Wall courtside there. Isn't John Wall playing up a, playing the Lakers tonight? Wizards Lakers is that tonight? Gio Georgui Dieng. For the Timberwolves to 25. They cheated once? I count at least three. Let's see, there was Spygate. Oh, dude, yeah, salty as hell. I'm never denying that. I fucking hate the Patriots. Well, that is true. You're not, you know, if you, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying to win. That is a fact. I'll give you that. But my thing is, like, they got caught cheating, and they felt zero repercussions. You know, let let the uh, let the dolphins cheat. Oh damn, it's a wrap. Fire everybody.
Brady was suspended for failing to, uh, what was that? Like, he, he wasn't giving up his phone or something like that? He didn't want to help the investigation. I think that's how that went down. Which just goes to show you, the guy's a fucking scumbag. Because he's so damn smart and he's so great at the sport of football and he doesn't play for the Dolphins. Yeah, the whole thing with the the cocaine and, and the dolphins, it's pretty laughable because, uh, you know, to, if you think that's not happening around the league, you're kind of crazy. Oh, he destroyed his phone? Even better. Oh, shit. They're about to get me. Let me destroy my phone because if they find this phone, they will definitely see how big cheaters we are. So I'm just going to destroy this phone. And I'm going to take the suspension on the chin, and then when I come back, we're going to lead, I'm going to lead my team to a Super Bowl victory. Awesome. Oh, Brady is no rat. He's still a scumbag. I just hope, I fucking hate the Patriots. Ginobili for the Spurs to uh, 199. I don't hate the Spurs, though. Like, the Spurs do things the right way. Now, if it came out that they were cheating, that would be kind of like a heartbreaker. Oh, yeah. Grizzmiz snitching left and right. That's the 2017 DeRozan. Let's see, how many times... Oh, dude, listen. They, There was Spygate. There was Deflategate. There was the Tuck Rule. It's a cool card there for James Harden. Rockets. Another team leader there. Insert. Cameron Oliver for the Rockets with the autograph. By the way, what's up, McBapa? How you doing, man? What is this? Two ninety nine, Ivan Rab, of the Grizz. Whoa, you're predicting the Eagles Patriots Super Bowl? That would be kind of cool. Oh, Tuck Rule was cheating. Tuck Rule was cheating, dude. Robert Kraft was on the sidelines, like, yo, ref. Uh, I know I know it's a fumble. I know it's a fumble, bro. But uh, I'll give you X amount of money to to, to, to to make up a rule and say he tucked it. He tucked it. DJ Wilson for the Bucks. Whoa, Grizzmiz. How are you going to talk about my non-existent girl? That's not cool. You know, I was uh, I was talking about this earlier this week. Uh, what do you guys think is the better one, two? You know, the first and second quarterbacks drafted uh, in their draft class. Would you rather Mariota Winston or Goff Wentz? Golf wins, not even close at the moment. Grizzlies, really? Not even close. Watson Kaiser. I don't know about Watson Kaiser. Watson definitely balling. Uh, but Jameis Winston and Mariota are no joke, man. Mariota doesn't turn the ball over in the red zone. He has a pretty good touchdown, uh, you know, interception ratio. 
And Winston, I mean, you know, he could do pretty much whatever he wants on the field. Mariota Winston is, listen, that's a good one too. Golf and, uh, and Wentz, not bad either. Yeah, that's, that's a difficult decision. Tully's. Um, are you a are you a Rams fan? Well, we're not talking about teams. I, well, at least I'm not. I'm talking about just straight up quarterbacks. Straight up quarterbacks. It's a team game, but I'm talking about one position. Well, Marino Elways, that's not even fair. Backstage pass, KD. And then there are these 2K inserts for Shaq. Trevor Ariza to 2017. That's kind of crazy. They got cards numbered to 2017. Like, why? Why are these cards like this? Ooh, a Dwayne Wade autograph for the Bulls. That's uh, that's unexpected. That's nice. McBaba, that is high praise right there. For both those players. That's a nice Dwayne Wade. Yeah, he has a pretty cool auto. Uh, it's a shame that he doesn't play for the Heat no more, though. You know, I once was mad, but now that I see what he's doing out there for Cleveland... Uh, actually, I'm not going to finish that statement. I was going to say I don't want him to play for the Heat, but I, I do want him to play for the Heat. Semi Ogeleye for the Celtics tonight, uh, 199. Uh, what am I going to do with the tip off cards? Well, those are inserts. The inserts do get, uh, well, honestly, I don't know right now because I didn't, I haven't read the, the listing to this. So I don't know what is shipping and what's not. You know, usually uh, the rookies get sent. Uh, the only thing we don't send out, at least for the website, for our website, we don't send out veteran base. Um, which I think is probably the same thing that's going to happen with this break. Now, it was in the description underneath the listing. Uh, I'm just not, I'm not sure. But I don't think base is shipping in this. Tip-off cards would be inserts and not base. So inserts do ship. The base cards will not. Again, I do have to look at the listing because I'm not exactly sure what the listing says. So yeah. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, who's winning today's game? Astros or Dodgers? Got Verlander pitching tonight. Astros play differently with Verlander on the mound. What do y'all think? For the Strohs, let me actually, I need to hit up CBJ.
Pulling for the Astros. I'm also going for the Astros. What time does that game start? In like 20, 30 minutes? I'm going for the Astros 1 for the city of Houston. You know, it'd be cool if they uh, had something to cheer about out there. Blake Griffin giving the Clippers something to cheer about to 199. Bam out of Bayo, another stud rookie that probably nobody's talking about because he plays for the Heat. But that's fine, they're going to learn. All right, guys, so I just got a text back from CBJ. Uh, what is going to ship in this product is uh, everything except veteran base. So rookies and inserts will be shipping. Like this. This will ship. But veteran base will not. Only rookies and inserts. Because, gosh, there are so much base cards. Joanna Evans for the Clippers. With the auto. What time is the, the Astros game, peeps? Help your boy out. Well, there's also this here. The Shaq inserts are hilarious. Marvin Williams of the Hornets to 99. Super Fractors probably look cool as hell in this. Is this an auto? Nope. Insert though. OG Anunobi for the Raptors. He's going to be a good player out there for the Raptors. So we've gone through four boxes. It'd be cool if I could pull the Lonzo Ball Auto now. Is the game? I think the game is at like eight ten or something like that. Yeah, eight oh nine. All right. Well, that's baseball. We are doing a basketball break now, though. Who do you guys think is going to be the rookie of the year? I asked that earlier. Uh, my personal opinion, so far, it's got to be Ben Simmons. And I don't even think it's close. I feel like Ben Simmons took that year off. Not even to, like, get healed. Like, yeah, to recover, get healed up, rehab and all that. But I felt like he also took that year off to just study the game. See what we got here. 
Jabari Parker of the Bucks with an auto. That's cool. Is he is he even playing? I know he's been dealing with some injuries over the past couple years to start his career. Hell of a player though. Hopefully he does get uh healed up quick. That'll make the Bucks scary good. Giannis right now is honestly playing out of this world. What is this? The Giannis backstage pass insert. Marcus Morris of the Celtics to 199. Check inserts for NBA 2K. So much base. Gosh. It's there's so much base that I have to put these cards in, in monster boxes. Like legit monster boxes. This is the Bowman Chrome Basketball version? I don't know about that, man. I mean, it's a cool product. Just so much base. That's on my side. James Harden insert. Oh, dude, you have no idea. Like, I'm not even halfway done. Like, this thing is going to take some time, bro. And I'm kind of speeding things up a little bit. For the Warriors, Jordan Bell with an autograph. That's a cool looking card. Right, it's been about an hour now and I'm not even halfway through. Like, that just goes to show you how much 
bases in this thing. And if I had, if I sleeved everything I'm supposed to be sleeving, like ridiculous. I am putting everything to the side though that needs to be sleeved aside from the rookies and stuff like that. Soldiers will go through it and they will take care of it. They do a really good job of that. Jeff Teague for the Timberwolves to 199. Well, that's what they are on the website. Like on the store, they're half case breaks. Um. But I'm curious to see what the numbers look like for the full caser. Mind you, I'm going to be breaking until 3 in the morning at least for the eBay breaks. So party's just getting started. That's fine, Kev. You know, I'll find another mistress or something. Somebody's going to hang out with me for sure. You're about to fall asleep now. We'll watch some baseball. Or basketball is going on right now, too. For the Prism, we're at 21 teams left right now for the Prism. Uh, Melissa, how you doing, Melissa? Oh, you so oh, dude, take a nap before that game. I think that game's at 10:30. Maybe I'll be done with this break by then. I'm going to try to speed things up a little bit without uh, going too crazy. Robert Covington of the Sixers with an autograph. Sixers having a good break. Uh, there are 21 teams left in the uh, prism on the website. You know, by the way, remember, folks, you make purchases on the website, you get entered into our giveaway. I am giving away. $200 and break credit. I filled two PYTs and I'm going to give away $200. Dude, I used to do that at work all the time, Kevin. When I used to work retail at TJ Maxx, they would, uh, you know, they had me covering the, the home goods section and the layaway area. So I was, you know, rarely on a register unless they, like, really need help. Omar Asik for the Pelicans. So what I would do is, you know, I have the layaway key. So I would just go into the layaway area and I'll just take a nap there. Nobody would know. Sounds good, Melissa. Sounds good. However, you know, I will be breaking till pretty late tonight. Uh, so chances are, when I have time in between eBay breaks, I will work on the website breaks. And seeing as how Prism is the closest one to going, I'll definitely uh, put some moves on that. Dennis Smith Jr. for the Mavs. Insert there. There you go, Melissa. If you can make some moolah, do it. So much base.
Well, listen, if it's making you money, go for it. Shoot. I mean, I know guys that have monster boxes on top of monster boxes just chilling in their garage. And what they do is, you know, they sort through them. And they put player lots together or team lots or, you know, whatever. They try to build sets. And they sell those. And they make pretty good money doing that, too. You know, the, 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 the hobby is, is very weird. I will say that much. But the more I do it, the more I learn. I do start to, you know, learn little things here and there. Like, a lot of people will buy cards, honestly, just to buy them and hoard them. And, you know, and wait to see if their potential will be realized. And then, boom, just sell. But it's definitely fun. I will say that much. Clyde Drexler insert there. Buddy Heald, courtside insert. Josh Jackson and the Suns insert. How about the Timberwolves? Timberwolves are killing it too. That's because that's that fancy. Porzingis. Kevin likes that fancy stuff. Cinderius Thornwell for the Clippers. Autograph. Really, Melissa? Wow. It's a shame because basketball, basketball is my favorite sport, so I'm kind of biased there. Malachi Richardson to 99 for the Kings. Well, listen, I do have number block breaks of uh, most of that fancy, uh, Kevin. I do have NT Baseball in the store. So, uh, you know, take a gander at that if uh, you so feel inclined. Trying to go a little bit quicker on this stuff. There's just so many cards, so many packs. Cannot knock the hustle. Well, listen, Prism Football's at 21. Last I checked on the store, uh, NT Baseball. The the Yankees got bought up, which is a uh, Honestly, surprising. We had them at three, three forty nine. So right now, the uh, top two teams are the Dodgers at two ninety nine, and the Red Sox at one forty nine. And there's also the Cubs at one twenty nine. So I think when those three teams get bought up, NT Baseball should be a quick fill as well. Wow, Melissa, those are amazing cards. So you got two Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's, you know, or Lou Alcindor, as many, you know, few people know him as, and Dr. J rookies, dude, that is nice. Now all he needs is some uh, some Fleer rookie Jordans, and uh, he's sitting on a you know on a little gold mine.
And how much are those cards worth, Melissa? Yeah, that's one thing I'm not good at is, you know, trying to figure out what the cards are worth and stuff. Um, I, I usually just go, like, on eBay and see what it's selling for there. Steven Adams, 199 The Thunder. You know what? I'm going to do an audible. I'm only going to sleeve and top load the autographs. Um, Cause it's it's getting kind of crazy, you know. And I don't want to bleed too much time into other breaks. Only seven, and he has that much luck. You know, I would have him pick out the uh, the winning lottery numbers. Tyler Lighten right here for the Nuggets autograph. That goes to the Nuggets. Uh, I'm not watching the Sixers currently, Dylan G. Uh, I'm, you know, I am doing a break. Unless you want to drop a link for your boy. Tyus Jones for the Timberwolves to 99. You know, I really want to watch the, the baseball game, honestly. There goes base. Matter of fact, there's also uh, a Heat game on tonight. You know, I just tuned in to the, uh, the Dodger Astros game. Hey, they got the guy from the Nationwide commercials. Anyone know who that is? I think he's like a country music star or something. Like, who's that guy with Peyton Manning doing the uh, Nationwide is on your side commercials? Who is that guy? Kenny Chesney? I wouldn't know because I don't know who that is. I was just wondering, like, I figured he was like, a, you know, a country musician or something. I don't listen to country music, so I can't really say. Uh, what makes me jump to that conclusion is just because, you know, the cowboy hat. Career tribute to Kobe Bryant for the Lakers to 199. That's pretty cool. Exclusive insert there for the Lakers. So Lakers getting some pretty cool cards there with the Kobe's. Oh, nice. You got a... Oh, I forgot you're from Miami, right, Melissa? So you like nice things like that. That's a sweet, sweet uh, jersey. Duke Johnson was a monster in college. You know, I hear he's uh, doing a little bit better out there in Cleveland. It's a shame he went to Cleveland, though.
I am going a little bit faster. You know, I, I was slow rolling it in the beginning just because I, I wanted to see the product. Cody Zeller for the Hornets autograph. Now that I've gotten my fix, you know, I can go a little bit quicker. Kyle Kuzma of the Lakers. That's a nice one, man. Kuzma's doing good things out there in L.A. Lakers got a little young team. The courtside doing weight insert for the Bulls there. Nothing there. All right. How come, Melissa? Where, where do you get your Where do you get your discounts from? Let me know, so I can get in on that. Like I, I went to the Hurricane game this last Saturday. By the way, it was my first Hurricanes game. It was such a blast. So much fun. And I was actually a little alarmed to how cheap the tickets were. Uh, we won, I believe it was 27 to 19 was the score. What 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 irks me though is we beat the team that beat Clemson, and we did not move up in the ranking. Like Syrac like Clemson's ranked seven, we're ranked eight. How does that work? It was a good game. It was definitely a good game. It was entertaining. Uh, I just wish the Hurricanes didn't play with their food as much. You know what I mean? That's I, that's what I feel like about the Hurricanes. I feel like they were. They play with their food a little bit, and then in the fourth quarter, you know, that's that's when they tighten things up and they go for the kill. I've never been to a hockey game, Tully. I, I can only assume that it's hella fun. Like, uh, I mention it from time to time, but I have a friend of mine, and she's pretty into hockey. Uh, and living in Florida, that's kind of funny, you know. I just think it is anyway. Like, who who's a hockey fan in the South? Like, that's... It's a little weird. But anyway, and she's always telling me, you know, oh, we should go to a hockey, you know, we should go to a hockey game, we should go to a hockey game. And now I don't really have the time to do it. You know, this this breaking stuff is really, a, you know, it's beyond the full-time job, you know. It's pretty ridiculous. But anyway, I don't know. I, I would like to go to a game. I just uh, haven't had the opportunity. So we do have Panini points here, which is, you know, in my opinion, sucks. Because it does replace an autograph. But let's see what else we have. A courtside Kyrie Irving insert. Maybe it may be Uncle Luke. You know, Uncle Luke does run the city. Him and Trick Daddy. So, you know, that would make sense. You know, that's another cool thing that I like about the, the Hurricanes is, you know, a lot of the... Uh, the ex-players, you know, come back and, you know, they train with the kids and they teach them and, you know, they try to instill that culture, that thug life. The wife got you tickets for the anniversary? Dude, I hope one day I, I, I'm that lucky. And, I, you know, I got a girl that do, do things like that for me. Come on, we, we hit the faults earlier today. Alonzo Ball would be nice. Sean Kilpatrick to 25 for the Nets. Yeah, that's usually how it is. You know, usually the good women find you. I mean, I've had my fair share of good, good girls, good women and stuff like that. But I'll be honest, man. I'm too young, right? I feel like I'm too young to be tied down. 
I did grow up in Miami, Melissa. Uh, I was born in Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, but I've been living here in Miami since I was two years old. I'm 27 now. About to be 28, so. Uh, I live in, if, you, if you're familiar with the Metro Zoo, I could walk to the zoo. That's pretty much where I live. In the South Miami Heights area. Oh, Tully. So you must were you you must have been pretty upset about uh, about the Rams leaving, man. I can only imagine. I went to Southridge Senior High School, who are actually the defending state champs, if I'm not mistaken, in football. John Luer of the Pistons with the autograph. They had they had Valenzuela throw the first pitch out there for the Dodgers. That's cool as hell. Maurice Spade to the Magic insert. The the Shack inserts are pretty cool. The greatest of all time, AI. That's my favorite player all time. I don't care what anybody says. Backstage pass for LeBron of the Cavs. It would be nice to see a Cavs auto. But then, you know, this is not upper deck. Another Kobe Bryant insert here tonight. One of 99. That's an eBay 101 there for the Lakers. Kobe Bean Bryant. And I'm trying to speed things up. I'm not even halfway through, man. God, this stuff is taking forever. Get another box. Here we go. The World Series is about to start here in a few minutes. Go Astros! Only reason I'm rooting for the Astros, you know, because of what's happened in Houston. So it'd be nice for them to have something to root for. Um, and also because they've never won a World Series. You went to Coral Gables? What is that? The, uh, the Rams, I think? The Golden Rams or something like that.
Who is that? Who that is? Oh, that's my dog right there. And I do hear random noises from time to time. So I get a little spooked. This place is haunted, man. I swear. You ready tonight, man? You ready? For those Dragon Ball Z, man. I know you looked at it already. I saw the box and I was like... <laughs> I wonder how pissed off Mario would be if I open this shit. I'd be super pissed. <laughs> We're doing that after the stream for both of us. Dude, what time do you think you'll be here until tonight? Uh, man, it's gonna be fucking late. Probably, okay, perfect, probably be here till like four in the morning. Gotcha. Jawan Evans of the Clippers to one ninety nine. You're going. You're streaming now, right? Uh, in about an hour. Gotcha. Oh, the Cavaliers. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out I've been I've driven past the school many times it's a nice school do you miss Miami at all Melissa DJ Wilson of the Bucks with the autograph You know what they say, there's there's no place like home. Where, where are you living at now, uh, Melissa? Yeah, I have family that lives in, uh, in Georgia. And I see what they, well, they tell me what they pay in rent. They rub it in my face all the time. You know, they're trying to get me to live up there with them and stuff. Um, I just, I, I don't like the country living, I'll be honest. You know, it's, it's way too slow paced for me. You know, it's not like I go to the beach every every day or something, but it's there. You know what I mean? Like, if I wanted to go to the beach, I know it's there. You know? If I want to go hit the, 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 the nightlife, I want to hit the clubs or whatever. Not that I'm going to do that because I'm not the kind of guy. But at least I know it's there. Like, in Georgia, there's really nothing to do. Like, outside of Atlanta, there's nothing to do. In the border of... Oh, yeah, you did mention that. The border of, like, Missouri, Arkansas. So, Melissa, you and I both know there is no place in the world like Miami. So, how bored out of your mind are you out there? If you are at all. I mean, some people enjoy the simple living. I am not one of those people. 299, Frank... Telekina for the Knicks. Let's go through this. For the Pacers, Damanta Sabonis with the autograph. Alfred Payton. Do you ever come back to like visit? Maybe, I don't know if you have family here or anything like that. You ever come back down to visit? Right to 25 for the Grizz. Walmart money goes long. Oh, for sure. Well, well, you live like in the Midwest area, so I bet the food is probably the bomb out there. 
as far as like barbecue or shit like that. I hear that's I hear that's where the best barbecue's at. It's in the Midwest. I've always wanted to go back to Missouri to like just to see you know where I was born and stuff like that. Um But I'm in no rush to do that. Oh, there's a there's a Cuban population there. Are you of Cuban descent, Melissa? That's you know that's one of the things I do love about Miami. Uh, for the most part, the people kind of suck, but uh, the melting pot here is awesome. The you know the blend of cultures and all that. There's not too many places in the world like it. So that's what I love about Miami. But it, it really is starting to get too expensive to live here. Hey, Mario. Have you been to the vending machine at all today? No, I haven't. All right. Nah, I, mean, I, I wanted to know if they had Monster. Cause it's gonna be a long night. I probably shouldn't be drinking that, but like, it 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 gives your boy the much needed sugars. Oh, swag yolo! Are you for real, dude? Well, Swag Yellow, man, do me a favor, bro. Uh, send me an email. RipCityCards at gmail.com. And when I get an, uh, an opportunity, uh, I will respond to the email. DJ Wilson of the Bucks, the 25. That's the second DJ Wilson. Killing me here, Swag Yolo. Killing me here. Uh, I mean, listen. Uh, I understand things happen. Uh, but I do got to have a little chat with you. So some, send me an email. And I'll respond to you as soon as I can. I have no problem doing the refund. Uh, but like I said, I, I do, uh, do got to have a little chat with you. <laughs> Melissa, there's no dude. Uh, are you actually gonna go see Kodak Black though? That's hilarious. <laughs> well, technically, he's you know he's not even from Miami though. He's Dade County. Uh, I'm saying, I mean Broward County. Uh, but yeah, you know when you're from Florida, you know Florida people, we have a certain je ne sais quoi about us. Reggie Jackson to 199 for the Pistons. Melissa into the hip hop. That's what I'm talking about. Chicka chicka wow wow. A Giannis, eBay 101, number 1 of 99. Tunnel Vision in Arkansas. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Listen, man, you got to rip you got to rip the hood everywhere you go. I know I do. Like anytime I leave the state and I, you know, and, and I leave Florida you know, every every so often. I mean, shit. Anytime I leave Miami, I rep the city. You know what I'm saying? I'll have like a Miami Heat hat on, or like I'll have a T-shirt for the Dolphins or or the Marlins or the Heat. Like I represent it somehow, some way. You know, people are gonna look at me and be like, "Oh, that guy's probably from Miami."
an hour and a half doing this, and I'm not even halfway through. Gosh. The soccer mom's version of hip flow rider, flow rider. You know, it's 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 dance music. Nothing wrong with that. You know, you're out there watching a soccer soccer match with the kitties, and you pump a little flow rider in the back. Appreciate that swag, Yolo. Uh, Chinanu Onwaku of the Rockets uh, with the autograph. Yeah, just dude, just send me an email like you said, like I said, uh, Swag Yolo, uh, and I will respond to you as soon as I get, I get I get a chance. You know, cause uh, we are doing a uh, pretty much a one strike policy now. Uh, as far as like payments and stuff like that, you know, been dealing, we've been dealing with some issues, unfortunately. For the Nets, Rondé Hollis Jefferson to 189. Uh, so that's pretty much what I'm going to be talking to you about. Uh, as far as the emails concerned. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll go into further details as to what we got going on. Um, because that is a concern. But, you know, I have no problem doing the refund. You know, I understand things happen. Uh, but, yes. Please send me that email. Because, you know, I do have to, uh, you know, give, give you... Well, not a piece of my mind. I just... I do have to relay this information back to you. And, and I just... I You know, it's between me and you. So, I don't want to, you know, just throw it out there uh, on the stream. Oh, Melissa, I think I think I'm falling in love with you, low key. If you're playing Trick Daddy before the game, oh man. Well, yeah, I mean, just like I said, send me an email. Let me know what you need me to do as far as refunds and stuff like that. I'll take care of it. And then uh, I'll say whatever it is that I have to say to you. I'll get around to it at some point, Swag Yellow. Uh, I will tell you this much, man. Dude, I got breaks for eBay pretty much every hour on the hour up until 3 in the morning. So I am going to be pretty busy, Swag Yellow. So I am, you know, giving you a heads up. Uh, but before I leave the office, I will get around to that email. So I will get back to you at some point. Um... And, but it may not be as quickly as as you probably are hoping. I'm just I'm just letting you know, I am gonna be super busy up until three in the morning. So uh, chances are I won't respond to you until possibly maybe four in the morning, uh, Eastern Standard Time. Just just to give you a heads up. So I do see it's 8.30 now. I have another eBay break at 9 o'clock. And I need to speed things up here. Pascal Siakam, 189. Raptors.
Russell Westbrook, their Thunder. You know, it's so much. It's you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna just call it now. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna sleeve and top load the autos, of course, and uh, the numbered cards and stuff like that. I'm just gonna keep doing like I've been doing. Put them to the side. I'm not gonna sleeve them though. Uh, not right now. It's just it's taking way too long. And I do have another break at nine o'clock. Trey Lyles of the Nuggets with the autograph. Yeah, that's 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 a concern for me, uh, Swag Yolo. Uh, so I'll definitely re respond to you in the email, and, I, and I'll go into details and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. Just be on the lookout for that. Well, there's not going to be an issue. Like, as uh, I am definitely going to do your refund, you know. Just in the email or whatever, let me know what I need to refund you for and things of that nature. Uh, but we definitely, you know, there, there is an issue. I'm not even going to lie. There is an issue. You know, this, this, this is a problem. Uh, so I will say, uh, I will definitely email you. I will take care of the... The, the refunds and stuff like that, you know, not a not, no problems there. Um, but, you know, pretty much it's, it's a problem because, you know, you want a refund, but there were people that were bidding on it. So somebody else, you know, that actually wanted this could have got it. So now I'm essentially losing money twice. And I'm not happy about that, I'll be completely honest. But I understand things happen. I will go into more detail in the email, though. Uh, as far as we're concerned, I mean, we're good. Like, I, I get it. But I'd, I'd be lying to you if, if I told you I was not a, not a happy camper. James Johnson of the Heat, 29. Kevin Durant, courtside insert there. So I'm definitely speeding things up now. Trying to get this thing done by 9 o'clock. For the Bucks, Sterling Brown. Bucks having a good break. I think that's like their third or fourth autograph right there. I hear you, Swag Yolo. I hear you. You know, I, I understand. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll email you, bro. I'll email you. Nice. That's a pretty sweet looking card. Numbered 4 out of 10, Andre Drummond of the Pistons. That's a cool looking card. Uh,. Uh, no T Wolves or Thunder Auto so far. Not that I can uh, think of, honestly. Ah, damn, I need top loaders. Uh, can you bring me regular top loaders, please? My dog. 
I am definitely trying to finish this up before 9 o'clock, before the next eBay break we got to do. It's just so much, man. Thank you, dude. Got top loaders for days. Try to speed things up a little here. Oh, definitely, Melissa. You know, when I get some time to work on the store, I will do so. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't blame people for uh, for peacing out right now because this break is taking way too long. There's just way too many base cards in this. Julius Randle of the Lakers with an autograph. That's a good card. Try to speed things up here. Jawan Evans for the Clippers to 189 there. Now, all numbered cards, all inserts, rookie stuff like that, will get sleeved by our sorters. For those of you guys watching, well, why didn't he? Why isn't he sleeving the numbered cards? You know, I usually do um, as I break. However, you know, we are on a schedule, and we are running way behind right now. So I, I definitely got to catch up. Yeah, I do. I have another full case of this to do later tonight. And uh, at least now I know what it looks like. Uh, so I can kind of speed through it a little. You know, next time it won't take me, you know, two hours to do. Maybe an hour and a half or something. Bro, I'm about to fill a monster box. That's how many base cards there are in this. Are you going to send that to me, Sports Cards Freak? Or are you going to keep that all to yourself, greedy? You gonna bring me some candy for Halloween? That's adorable. 
Yeah, I won't be going trick or treating, that's for sure. When's Halloween? I think Halloween's like on a Tuesday or something like that. I'm gonna be live. My friends are gonna be hitting me up like, "Yo, Jesse, where you at, dog? We at so and so, bro. Come through." I'm gonna be like, "Nah, I can't, bro. I got breaks to do, son." Patrick Beverly to 99 for the Clippers. Yo, that's actually a pretty cool idea. More uh, Panini points that I got a random there. I'll be here, Melissa. Going through them. Carlisle Towns insert. I gotta, I gotta see what you know pictures of Moses, and see what how he was dressed, and then, you know, I'll, I'll go as him. I'll come in, I'll come in dressed like Moses. That'll be kind of funny. Oh, so you go overseas on Tuesday. Nice. How long are you going to be gone for, Maggot? A gangster Moses? Let's see what we got. Stephen Booker insert there. For the Rockets, Zoe Key autograph. Ten ninety nine, Harry Giles, Kings. Let's leave that real quick. Wait, so what is it? Like a month or, or what? Like a month and a half? Is that what you're saying? <coughs> yeah, there's also the delay because of, you know, the YouTube delay. So there's also, there's also that to take into account. Don't worry, I'm not I'm not holding it against you. I get it. <coughs> A cardboard care package? Like I can mail you stuff anywhere in the world. That's not a problem. You just gotta let me know where you want it mailed to.
we don't have signature series, uh, Paul, unfortunately. We have NC Baseball, Hoops Basketball, and Prism Football. Gotcha, Maggie. Do you know where you're going? Backstage pass KD. I mean, we can send it to a naval ship if we can, you know, find somebody who's going to do. I think USPS ships to naval ships and submarines and stuff like that, too. You know, Uncle Jesse knows people. Uh, this is that new, new stuff, Swag Yolo. This stuff just came out today. Buddy Heald of the Kings autograph. That's a big card right there. That is nice. That's a big time card. Buddy Heald is going to be a baller. De'Aaron Fox of the Kings. Insert there. It's not bad looking for sure. Uh, my only gripe is that there are just way too many base cards. Like, it's not even fun. It's your birthday, Paul? Dude, happy birthday, my man. It was really your birthday. Oh, dude, happy birthday, my man. You look good for a 34-year-old, though, Paul. Plus, a AJ nothing but a number. Like, I'm 27 going on 28. In a couple weeks is my birthday. Oh, my God. Damn, I'm getting old. But, like, I'm 28. I don't look like a 28-year-old. I look like I'm 38. See, you, Paul, you're 34. You probably you could probably pass off for 24. Well, listen, chicks dig the gray hairs. There, bro, there's people out there purposefully dyeing their hair gray just to look a little bit older and more distinguished. You could use that. Be like, yeah, nah, girl. You know, I just want to look older. And then she's like, oh, my God, that's so hot. You know, do whatever you want with me. That's how that goes. And Darius Thornwell, 99 there for the Clippers. It will get sleeved, no worries. Just uh, trying to speed this up.
Dude, Swag Yellow, piece of advice, turn your computer off when you're not using it. Better yet, make sure your password is only known to you. When you're done using it, log off of whatever, you know, log off of PayPal, log off of eBay, log off of everything. Willie Hernan Gomez for the Knicks autograph. Donovan Mitchell Jazz. Oh, uh, dude, that all that auto signing business is super dangerous. And at least it was your brother, you know, someone you know. But that's a quick way to get your identity stolen, my man. That is a quick way to get your identity stolen. So I hope I hope you learned your lesson. I hope you learned your lesson. Make sure you log off of everything. Do not save your password so it auto fills. I know it's super convenient, but that's how you get your identity stolen, and that's how you get into problems. You played WoW for 10 years? You must have got good at it, huh, Paul? Were you around when they had like the there was like a plague or something on WoW I heard about, and it was like affecting players where their characters were like dying and stuff? Well, Swag Yellow, you know, just learn from that lesson, man. Make sure you log off from your PayPal and your computer and all that stuff. So you have to enter the password. You know, and if somebody asks you, hey, what's the password? You just tell them, fuck you. High tech baseball is nice, J Crazy. Uh, I am doing one for eBay coming up, so we'll we'll have a look at it in a in a bit. I am trying to finish up this NBA hoops. It's taking me two more than two hours to do this. I hear you, lurk. I mean, I still have six boxes to go through. I have been speeding up the process, so I should be done in another 10 minutes or so. Like, I put this thing in turbo. I put the NAS and everything on it. Wesley Iwondu for the Magic with the Auto. Uh, Swag YOLO, if I'm being completely honest, I think it was done on purpose. But then again, what do I know? Just my opinion. You know, I'm not I'm not I'm not too much of a believer in accidents. Uh any hawks? I have not seen Hawk autos yet. I do do the recap at the end of the break uh, of all the autographs. You know, so um, of course I watch Game of Thrones, Paul. I caught up on that shit. Did you did you hit like a, da a Daenerys autograph or something? I'm still debating on like who my favorite character is. I fucks with Jon Snow, but I also like the leader of the Wildlings. That guy's a savage. Uh, yeah, rookies and inserts get shipped. Uh, the only thing that does not get shipped is veteran base. Veteran base does not ship.
Oh man, those are some pretty sick autographs on there. What is that? You got the Lannister brothers on there. Uh, it looks like you have Jon Snow and his little wildling girlfriend on there. Nice. Oh, that's Ned and Rob? That is dope. Yeah, I could barely see. I'm looking at the picture through the chat and whatnot. You see it on the screen. That's what I'm looking at. Dude, that's some pretty cool swag you got there, man. Sucks that we're not going to see a show for another, you know, two years probably. It's a good thing Walking Dead is out now, so I got that to look forward to on Sundays. Well, and on Saturdays, I got Dragon Ball uh, Super to look forward to. Those, do those things sell good on, on eBay? Or, you know, wherever? Yeah, no, for sure, Lurk. I mean, uh, I'm putting stuff to the side now. Uh, but if, I don't know if you've noticed, uh, or if you have even received them, but, uh, I've been sorting, you know, some of my own breaks, uh, recently. So if you see CBM on your package, just know I sorted it for you. Uh, but with this product, I already have everything separated. Uh, well, not everything, of course, for the most part, I have it separated. Uh, but I will go through it again uh at the end and i'm going to take everything out that doesn't ship so i will definitely be going through it a few times making sure i, I got everything uh alert josh i appreciate that my dude damn insane that's that's nice man what's up jayhawk how you doing my man i am trying to finish this nba hoops as quickly as possible it's you know it's taking me two hours so far yeah Kevin it's it's uh I feel like it's a little bit of cruel and unusual punishment right now I need to have a talk with panini why did they put so much base in this why so many trees gone And uh, what's up? Well, I have a break that's scheduled now for 9 o'clock. Should be doing NT Baseball. Uh, I will be doing that uh, as soon as I'm done with this. Well, well, Paul, I did pull a Markel Fultz already, which is, which is nice. Jayhawk, I hear you, man. I'm... I'm, I'm I'm kind of on the same boat. You know, I'm, I'm in the office 12 to 14 hours a day, uh, five days a week. So, you know, do the math. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm up there with you. You got to put in, got to put in that time. Got to put in that Got to put in that time. Got to work in overtime, beyond overtime. It's the life of being your own boss. Chris McCullough, the Wizards autograph. Well, if it makes you feel any better, Lurk, we do have one on the website. By the way, if you join the breaks on our website, you get entered into our giveaways current giveaway I'm giving away two hundred dollars in break credit oh yeah now there are good autos to be had in this uh, and it's and it's like Paul said this is for the kiddies uh, but there's some big time names in this I've already pulled a Dwayne Wade auto a Markel Fultz auto Jabari Parker so there's some good names in here you know there's all obviously the the it's 2017 uh, draft class in the, is in this, of course. So there's good stuff to be had. 
Not just for the kids. Uh, Swag Yolo, there's no way I'm going to be able to refund you within the next hour. That is just, you know, I, I can't, man. I, I really can't. I don't have time. I can refund you. Well, if you check, if you send me an email, I'll have Jason check out the email. So what I did for you, Swag Yolo, as I just sent uh, Jason, and I uh, I just text Jason. So I'm not sure if he's in, a, is he, if he's in a class with his wife or something. Um, but I did ask him to check the email, Josh. I'm sorry, not Josh, Swag Yolo. So hopefully he can check that email and get back to you as soon as possible, Swag. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm definitely not going to be able to do that refund. I don't think so within the, within the next hour. Well, look, Josh, I will do, uh, I do the recaps at the end of the break. So if you know, if you want to go take a nap for a few hours or so, I'll probably be done by then with this break. Uh, have I pulled any autos for the Blazers? I, I honestly, I don't know, uh, guys. I will do the recaps at the end of the break. I know for a fact I pulled a few bucks. Uh, the Dwayne Wade, the Markel Foltz. You pulled Alonzo in a box today? Nice. That should go for a pretty penny. I do the recaps at the end of the break, guys, so... If you're wondering what's been hit, you can either go back in time on the stream on YouTube, or you can just do the recap. Well, wait for the recap of everything at the end of the break. I, I recap the autographs, which is honestly the only thing, you know, people care about. It is just, you know, kind of ridiculous just how much base is in this well depending on the sticker lurk it could be worth major guapage Jarrett Allen of the Nets auto We'll be doing NT baseball as soon as I'm breaking with this, man. Well, alert Josh, man. I'm, I'm, not, I'm a little sick right now. Dealing with a uh, little stuffy nose at the moment. So I can't really breathe through my nose. So that's, uh, that's not fun. Got to resort to the old mouth breathing. And then that's what you're hearing.
<coughs> what up, Bergy? <coughs> For the Thunder to 25, Josh Huestis. Auto there for the Thunder. I love how you always make an entrance, Bergy. You know, you lead off talking shit, and then you're like, oh, hey. <coughs> Jimmy Butler for the Timberwolves there tonight, now. Jeez. Drink some water. What's up, John? All right, we have four boxes left. Oh, man. more we have of this product but dang I did not notice that lurk that's the last thing I'm paying attention to right now but that's pretty funny that you caught that For the Kings, Justin Jackson with the auto. Well, John, I did pull uh, Markel Fultz, Jabari Parker, Dwayne Wade, uh, to name a few big names so far. It's uh, <clears throat> two autos per box. A Jordan 101. That would be crazy. Seven to ten Scalaba CA for the Kings. That's a nice card. Like, I, I, I enjoy the look of the cards. They're simple, clean. I like them. Uh, but I'd be lying if I said I enjoyed going through all these, all these base cards. I, I don't. If you would have told me, hey, Uncle Jesse's going to take you like two and a half hours to do a case of uh, NBA hoops, I'd be like, ha, you, you, you funny. Nope, that uh, sounds about right. I'm trying to speed things up here so I can get to the next break for eBay. 
Sounds good, Gregory. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Anyone watching the Dodgers Astros game? If you are, can anybody explain to me why the Dodgers pitcher looks so old in the face? Like, why does he have those bags under his eyes like that? He looks crazy. Because he's been around the block. <laughs> yeah, he just... Like, like specifically his eyes, though. Like, it's not that he's like a, an ugly dude or whatever. Like, and I'm comfortable enough with my sexuality to say stuff like that. But, like, in the eyes, though. Like, specifically those bags underneath his eyes. Yeah, I, I see that he's not he is not aging well at all. Yeah, I took a glance over at one of my screens to, to see what the game is looking like. Astros up one zero. But that boy Hill, boy, he looking like he need to go to the uh to to the to the senior you know, retirement home or something. Jeez, man. It looks like his eyes are just swollen, like, permanently. Like, like he's hella tired. Like, it, it just looks like life hit him all at once. Here's the auto for the Grizzlies, Troy Daniels. I got three boxes left. I'm trying to go through these as fast as possible. Because uh, this NBA hoops, as you, can, as you guys can see, for those of you that have been hanging out, there are a buttload of base cards. I think I can say that, right? Buttload? I think I can say that. Uh, you mean for our for the website, JD? If it's a website break, you know how that goes, man. If it's a website break, it'll it'll go as soon as it fills. So if you want to buy more teams to help me fill it even quicker, then hey, that'll be a help. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the foresight to tell you when it'll happen. Because if I had those powers, I would be using it. Uh, for something a little bit more cooler, you know, like, you know, betting on games because I know who's going to win and things like that. Uh, but I, I don't know when it's going to break. As uh, soon as it fills, I'll break it. That's uh, pretty much how it goes. Swag Yolo, are you in here? Alright, Swag Yolo, so did you send me an email 
remember in the email I asked you know tell me exactly what you want like what do you want a refund for what is it what's the amount when was it done like I need as much detail as possible on that email because I have Jesse uh, JC I have Jason checking the email and he you know I, I don't know what was in the email so I'm not sure what what you wrote uh, but he doesn't know what needs to be done so you know I hope you were as detailed as possible on the email because I, I have him trying to take care of the refund for you but he, he doesn't know what to do you know what I mean so send another email and he you know he is checking I don't think he put insurance on the on the Kobe I hit last night. At least uh not that I know of. I don't even think we shipped it out yet just because we have so much stuff to sort. Larry Nance, what else? The man wants a refund, Lurk, and, uh, you know, he, he is entitled to that. You know, I, I don't, uh, knock the hustle. Put this away here. Like, I'm almost done, almost done. Again, Swag Yolo, I have no idea what the email says. I can't check it. I have Jason checking the email. So like I said earlier, in the email that you sent to us, make sure you write exactly what it is you want. So if you want a refund, you know, say, hey, I need a refund for this break. You know, it happened at this time for this amount, etc., etc. And then, you know, an explanation why. I understand Swag Yolo. I'm just repeating myself again so you can hear me. You know, I know that we are on a delay uh, for YouTube. What's up, Marty Mar? How you doing? I will be doing the NT Baseball as soon as I'm done with this break for those of you guys watching. Um, and if you've been watching, then you would know there is a buttload of base cards in this. Just cards, period. That I'm having to uh, to go through. I mean, if you don't do, don't believe. Like, I got a monster box filled with just base cards. It's kind of ridiculous. So as soon as I'm done with this break, I will get uh, started on the next one. Which is uh, NT Baseball that I will do as soon as I'm done with this. For the Rockets, Bill Willoughby with the autograph. So there's some veteran autos in this stuff. Along with the Rooks. I did pull the number one draft pick already. The Markel Fultz. I'm trying to get some other big names in this. Maybe he stoned Kestis. You ever think about that? Maybe he's just really high. You want to get high? For the Spurs, Derek White with the auto. Don't lose your job, though. Don't lose your job, Kevin. 
Because then, you know, how are you going to support yourself? And more importantly, how are you going to support me? As you can see, I'm trying to speed through this. Almost done, guys. Two boxes left, and then we're moving on to NT Baseball. What? Marty Mar? Dude, that is amazing if you pulled that. I have, I have yet to see a single Bellinger or Jeter from the Bowman Chrome product. You got a picture of that, Marty Mar? Because that's amazing. Oh, wow, Marty Moore. Talk about being... Well, listen, man, when, you, when you're hot, you're hot. When you're hot, you're hot. Oh, it's a redemption? Oh, man. I was hoping to see a picture of that thing, bro. That's, that's, that fucking sucks. Now you just got to wait like half a year to actually get the redemption. I'm just kidding. I don't know how long it takes to get redemptions back. Just as Winslow of the Heat there. Well, listen. Lesson learned on this NBA hoops. Now I know what to look forward to. What it looks like. So next time we cross paths again, NBA Hoops, I'll be ready for you. And, you know, all the amounts of base you carry. For the Timberwolves, Justin Patton with the auto. Aaron Gordon, the Magic, to 25 there. That stuff will get sleep, folks. No worries on that. It's just a super long break. And we are very behind on the eBay breaks. So I am going as quickly as I can to catch up and get that going. Almost done with the rest of this box. And we have one more to do. Marty Mar, bro, I've, we've gone through at least 15 or 20 cases of the Chrome, and I had I haven't seen a single Bellinger. What'll make this worth it is if we pull Alonzo Ball Auto. I mean, the number one pick came out already. Did I pull a Josh Jackson? I don't think so. The recap will be coming up soon. Speaking of Josh Jackson right there. A few Bucks players. Uh, but I, not that I recall a Josh Jackson.
freaking knows, man. For the Hornets, Jeremy Lamb, 99. James Ennis of the Grizzlies Auto. Yeah, Marty Marsh. Pretty ridiculous. I'm happy for you, my man. I have not, you know, I, I don't I learned my lessons the hard way. Uh Bergy. Also, I am my you know, my senses are super sensitive. Whenever the uh, seasons change and things like that, or the the you know the temperature dips, I, I usually get sick. It's it's a gift and a curse. All right, last box, Mojo here. Finally. Yep, Astros up to one. Yeah, I've been using cardboard connection, Chris Fitz. Uh oh, Justin Turner up the bat. That boy's been killing it. Exactly, Chris Fitz. I'm right there with you on that. I'm, I'm right there with you on that. Group break checklist just makes things easier for lazy people like us. It's in a it's in an Excel sheet or whatever. It's a nice table form, so I know who gets autos for what team, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's just super easy, super easy. Cards and Kicks, if you read the description of the listing, it'll tell you the time. So every eBay break has a, a description underneath the listing, and it'll tell you when the break will go. Exactly, Kestas. It's just, you know, it's super easy. How about this, Chris? How about instead of lazy, we just say it's convenient. All right, last box mojo here. Let's see what we get. Marcus Page of the Hornets with an auto. There's that. The Harkless Trailblazers, 99. I'm still on the same case, Sports Cards Freak. Still on the same case. If it makes you feel any better, I'm almost done, though. That's it? That's all you did? You should have gone, you should have done, you know, more groceries or whatever.
you know, go on a date with a Tinder freak, you know, etc., etc. So we should be getting one more auto out of this box. So we can go ahead and wrap this up. And there it is, Josh Hart of the Lakers. Not the Laker we wanted, but it's the one we got. Speaking of snacks, I wish I had some. I'm fucking hungry. And there. Soul of the Grizzlies. So that should be the last auto. Let me double check on that. Still got the rest of these cards to go through. That Marvin Williams of the Hornets was number to 199. There are these funky 2K inserts for Shaq. Two and a half hours to do this case. Ridiculous. I'm wondering if I can shave an hour off of the next one I got to do with this. Looks like it's going to be the end of the break. Whew! Finally! Never thought we'd get there. After two and a half plus hours. That is the break, folks. Uh, before I do the... Well, Chris Spitz, what we do is we do... Uh, we sleeve every numbered card. Which uh, I have separated for the most part. In this stack here. And, uh, you know, it'll get sorted for sure. No problem there. But actually breaking it kind of sucks. Especially me. Like, you, you guys know, I, uh, I sleeve pretty much everything and top load everything on camera. Uh, but I do have to make an exception with this product. Just based on the sheer volume of it. I filled an entire monster box with stuff. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I always show the uh, autos at the end of the break. Uh, yes, Cards and Kicks. If that's what the description says, it'll be at midnight uh, later tonight. So in about two and a half hours. It's uh, 9.35 over here. Uh, no, everything does not ship. Uh, veteran base does not ship. Everything else does. Alright, so we have Panini points that I have to random. I'm going to combine them so it'll be 500 Panini points. So, let's do that before I do the recap. I always recap stuff at the end of the break, guys. Uh, for those of you wondering. I always do that. Especially with a break like that. You know, I'm pretty sure you're not interested in seeing all those thousands of base cards. Alright, so let's do this random. I'm going to roll dice for the 500 Panini points. We're going to go five times. Uh, fuck you, Sports Cards Freak. Alright, so we're going to go five times. All teams there. Going five times. Top team on the list gets 500 penny points. Good luck. So it's one, two, three, four, and the money shot. Good luck. It'll be going to the Jazz. So Jazz picking up Panini points, 500 Panini points to be exact. And it's a shame because those Panini points re uh, pretty much replace the autos so we could have had two autos but instead we had uh well, i should say we could have had two more autos instead we got you know 500 for the e points going to the jazz there you go rah rah dropping knowledge well how about we just show the autos because that's always better you know I don't understand how, you know, the whole redemption, Panini Point business, like, I get it, but, like, just print the cards. Let's show them off. 
Josh Hart, Lakers, Page, Hornets, Ennis, Grizzlies, Pat and Timberwolves, White Spurs, uh, Willoughby Rockets, Daniels Grizzlies, Jackson Kings, uh, Huestas Thunder, Allen Nets, McCullough Wizards, Mitchell Jazz, Iwundu Magic, Hernan Gomez Knicks, Healed Kings, uh, Key Rockets, Randall Lakers, that's a good one, Brown Bucks, Lyles Nuggets, Onwaku Rockets, Wilson Bucks, Sabonis Pacers, Wilson Bucks, Lure Pistons, Zeller Hornets, Leiden Nuggets, Thornwell Clippers, Covington Sixers, Bell Warriors, that was a nice dunk he had earlier too, Jabari Parker Bucks, that's a nice one, Evans Clippers, Dwayne Wade Bulls, that's a good one, uh, Oliver Rockets, Rubio J uh, Jazz, Markel Foltz for the Sixers, that's a good one, the number one pick, Monte Morris Nuggets, Jonathan Isaac Magic, that's another good one, and Lorenzo Brown Raptors. And that, my friends, was 2017-18 Panini NBA Hoops Basketball 20 Box Full Case Break number one. <gasps> eBay style. Thank you very much, guys. We're it out to you.